when you want to add a new function to your project, should you use some package or should you code it yourself from scratch? And I received a question yesterday on my YouTube channel from Hassan. The post was a recommendation of a package to add additional validation rules to your project. And the question was from Hassan or in general it was upvoted, should you use a package or custom self-defined logic? And I decided to answer with this video because it's more complicated than just one comment. Because it's a simple package in this case for adding the validation rules. But in some cases it's a very important decision. Should you use roles and permissions package or should you code it yourself? Should you use Laravel Nova for admin panel or should you use other package or should you code it yourself? Because some packages are foundation of the project. They are at the core and if you use them or not, you're kind of doing a really, really big shift in the fundamentals of your code. And the default answer to that question is no, you shouldn't use packages and you should code it yourself most of the times. Okay, then we're done with this video and see you guys in other videos. Just kidding, of course. Don't start judging me and don't think I'm not a fan of efficiency. I'm a really big fan of delivering things quicker with packages. That's why we created our quick admin panel and called it quick admin panel. But there's quite a big downside to using the packages to deliver quickly. And let's see what problems you may have by using any package. In upcoming 10 minutes, I will give you four potential problems that you may run into when using packages. And on the other hand, I will list three criteria or three questions that may convince you to use some package and not code it yourself. Let's go. First problem with any package is functionality. It may not do exactly what you need. And a great example is Spotty Laravel permission, which is awesome and very popular package. But if you want to use that for the team permissions, historically, there are a lot of issues around that. So in 2015, Frag said there are no plans to add team layer. In 2017, Alex repeated doesn't currently support teams. Another thread, there's no easy way to do that right now. And finally, this February, they compiled all the other issues to suggest any workarounds because the package doesn't support that function. Problem number two with packages, it may be difficult to customize. Example of that is Laravel Nova, or at least used to be. When it was released, Reddit threads with comments that were around not enough customizations and that it's hard to customize. Here, customization is limited. If you need custom layout, you're better off writing the everything yourself. So again, it's great at what it does. Same with Laravel permissions. But if you want to go one step left or right, you will have trouble. And of course, it got better over the years. And they recently hired James for Laravel Nova specifically, so it got much better. So in another thread on Reddit, there are good news that James is sorting issues and getting new features in. But even then, even the fans of Laravel Nova praise it for astounding how convenient it was. But at the same time, if the scope of admin panel is beyond that, you'll probably run into many complaints regarding customization. And by the way, I'm not saying that those packages are bad, the permissions are Nova. I'm not saying that to convince you that, for example, our quick admin panel is better than Nova. No, my goal is to show you that even good and great packages may not fit your needs. Potential problem number three with packages is lack of documentation. Or what happens in more cases, not enough documentation specifically for specific cases or deeper usage of the package. So recently I found another administration panel for Laravel, Laravel Dash. As you see, we're not running away from the topic of admin panels with Nova and stuff. So pretty new player on the scene with 300 stars, which is cool. But if you go to issues, there are three issues and two of them are about documentation. So improve the Laravel documentation and making video tutorials. Because if you look at the official documentation, it is in README. If you go to that page, it's this. And it may look cool with all those menu items, but installation is just a few words. Configuration is just basic configuration, which is where to register providers. And then each of those sections is actually a few words or a paragraph. So it explains the basic concept, but when actually using that package, you will probably need much more. And actually Taylor Otwell himself said once that one of the reasons for success of Laravel was good documentation. So if you are a package creator yourself, 
my advice is to spend enough time on documentation because otherwise people wouldn't just use your package. And it's not only about official documentation, it's also about community documentation. So tutorials, forum posts, any discussions online. So here's an example. If you Google Laravel Dash, you will see only the official repository and page. And if you Google Laravel Dash add route, for example, Google is showing different packages and doesn't solve your problem. It even thinks that you made a typo. But if you Google Laravel Nova, add route. First, you get official documentation. Then you get Stack Overflow with a lot of posts. Then you have Laravel issues, Laravel Nova issues, which is probably discussed. Also Reddit threads, a package specifically for Nova, Laravel news articles. So there's the whole ecosystem around that tool, around that package. So that is a good sign. And problem number four, the biggest problem, I've saved it to the last one but I've experienced it multiple times in my career when package gets abandoned or doesn't get updated with new Laravel versions. For whatever reason, author doesn't have any requirements to continue working on that, so something changed in their life and the package gets abandoned. In this case, you see posts on Laracasts about this package being abandoned, and if you go to that repo, it's officially abandoned. Another painful example for ourselves was not Laravel, but package for Vue.js data tables, and it was pretty good, but then got abandoned because, as the author says, I, the only maintainer, no longer works for that company. And even new Laravel version releases are important, so when packages get updated after new Laravel version. For us, it's also a problem, because in our quick admin panel, we may generate admin panel code for upcoming Laravel 8, which is coming round the corner, only when the packages get updated for Laravel 8. So if you look at view code of our typical admin panel, if you look at Composer JSON, there are quite a few dependencies, and most of them are safe and trusted, but we need to wait when Laravel 8 comes out. We need to wait for Laravel data tables package to support Laravel 8, for Spotty Media Library, and then maybe some others. So I hope I scared you enough to not use packages, but it's not all dark. The whole video until now was for you to be careful using the packages. But there are actually three criteria I can list that convince me that the package is good enough and I should use it. So there are three criteria or three questions you should ask. Question number one, who created the package and can I trust them? That's right, the first question is not about functionality, it's about who is behind them and what is the track record for previous packages. And that's why Belgium company called Spati has a great reputation over the years of not only creating best packages, but also maintaining them, supporting them, adding the documentation, adding videos, adding articles, responding to Twitter or Reddit or Laracast comments. So that's why I trust Spati whenever they release something. But as you saw in the beginning of this video, with Spati permission example, not all the creators create something for you. So criteria and question number two is, can I use that package? the functionality basically. And for that you need to actually try it out. Documentation sometimes may be misleading or may be outdated. So only when trying to implement that package and actually use that, you will bump into the issues and you will see how easy it is to solve. It. And third question or criteria is about the future. So will this package support something that I may need in the future? Again, example with permissions. You should ask around, ask your colleagues or managers or client, would we need to support teams in the future for the permissions? Or just generally imagine how your project may change with new requirements and would that package be able to support them? And of course, if not, there are still ways how you can continue using the package. You can contribute to the package with new functionality. So contact the author and gets your change gets merged into the official package. Or you can fork it and maintain it yourself, but then you get all the work with maintaining it yourself for, again, future Laravel version. So I've listed four problems and three criteria on when those problems disappear. And my final tip for you is kind of a middle ground. So if we get back to the original post, for some packages it's easy to take away the exact functionality you need, which is usually like 5% of the whole package, and not install the whole package. And for this package specifically, I'm pretty sure there's a validation rule somewhere inside the code. Actually, let's take a look. If we go, for example, for a lowercase rule, it's pretty easy to copy and paste that condition. Or for another case, odd number should be also one-liner something like that. 
And another example I show often in my videos how to take out the necessary functionality without using the package is Laravel UI, official Laravel UI package, which generates login and register forms. But if you need only the design, the bootstrap design, you can go to source, auth, then bootstrap stubs, layouts, app stub, and copy and paste the exact HTML for the home page. So my final tip, if you want just one or two functions from the whole package, try to extract those functions. And my final message for you is try to support the creators. Don't forget to boost their motivations if you can somehow financially, if you cannot just with attentions, raising issues, contacting them on Twitter or GitHub, just let them know that it's actually useful for the job that they have done. And with that, there is my video where I'm listing six creators of open source who successfully earned money from that. So the video is in the top left corner. You can watch those success stories and you can support my channel by doing one of two things, trying out the Laravel admin panel generator at quickadminpanel.com or enroll in one of my 11 courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. See you guys in other videos.